good afternoon or evening. Sun's going down. It's five o'clock. Um, I think I'm going to start wearing more shirts like this because it doesn't uh, hug my chest curves as well as um, t-shirts do. So I like that. Now, this morning I was... Yesterday I started to make a little video about Blob, about how you know bad the nerf was, and I'm just like, you know what, let me sit with this, because I actually, first I'm bad at making videos, uh, but more importantly, I'm like, maybe it's really not that that bad. Let me sit with that. I was talking about, like, do you think it could work in a, in a negative deck? Because you got to think of a lot of things when you make a card zero cost, or now one cost. Sorry, not or zero power or one power because of negative in Ravona. So... Okay, what is actually going to happen with, with Blob? And I, I played a couple of games, and it really wasn't as bad. So I started talking about that this morning in a video. I tried to get some gameplay. I had to go meet a friend for lunch, do some work stuff, and then I get back home, or not, not, not before I got back home. I'm out. I look at my phone at 2 o'clock, and this is what I see. And I'm like, this doesn't seem right at all. I don't remember it being like this. And I was right because it was supposed to be 6,000 tokens and 2,000 credits, which is, I think, better than what it turned out to be. Now, they're saying that this is, let's see, 163 of a bundle value and 155, 134. So it went down in what uh, SnapFan has calculated to be uh, a, a value for a bundle. And I have a couple problems with, with what's going on here. Look, first, I think Infinity tickets are dumb. I think getting Conquest tickets in a bundle are, is taking away value. Meaning that the way the tickets are used, meaning if you don't use them by the end of the season, they're gone, then not everybody is going to be using Conquest tickets, gold or Infinity tickets. You know, people just, some people don't do Conquest. They're too busy on the ladder. They want to try to get to Infinite, and they don't have time to go to Conquest to try that out. They'd rather spend their time playing on the ladder, right? And there's other people who don't really care about Infinity um, and want to do Conquest or who rush to Infinity just so they can get to Conquest, right? But there are plenty of people who just don't want to do Conquest or not good enough, especially for Infinity. Because when you go from Gold Conquest to Infinity Conquest, the difficulty is vastly different. It's crazy. It's like if you're a low collection level and then you get to infinite on the ladder, then you stop going against people that are below infinity uh, level because it used to be that you could go against people that were not infinite players that were just in the 90s. And that kind of felt unfair. So now if you're an, an infinite player, you will only go against other infinite players. And the huge change in difficulty sometimes if you're a lower collection level and you don't have a lot of cards but you still made it to in, in infinity it's just it's crazy and that's what goal to infinity conquest is like as well so giving people infinity conquest tickets especially if they're not able to just like save them this is just the equivalent of 400 medals and when you go and you look at the conquest shop like what is 400 medals and i'm pretty sure it's 400 medals and the reason i'm saying that is when you redeem a ticket you're gonna get i think just 200 medals for it and i could be wrong i forgot um and that's because i can't check right now because it's not the last week of the season which is another thing you can only use those tickets for the last week of the season um i think there was one season you could use it for two weeks because it was a five week season but whatever anyway that can get you a gold ticket Right? Like, why? Like, and the only other good thing is what? Uh, this, which was 150, which you should be get, able to get very easily. Um, you can't even get another infinity ticket with two medals. So what is going on? And that's even assuming that that's 250 for an infinity ticket. And again, I might be wrong about what you get for redeeming the infinity ticket. Um, can I see what you get for gold? No, you can't. Um, which is fine, whatever. But I, I start to feel bad for free-to-play players and like what Second Dinner is doing. Brief history, this is my free-to-play account. Um, I have 7,000 gold. I was trying to save up for, uh, for 
Dracula, which I was 50 gold short, and since I can't buy anything, I wasn't able to buy the gold. Even the $5 amount, wasn't able to buy it. Got upset, and then I'm like, okay, I'm going to wait for the December Sugar and Spice bundle, which was supposed to be 6,000 credits, and that turned into a 3,000 credit bundle, wherever uh, that is. Here you go. Uh, sorry, 1,500 collector's tokens, and I think originally this was supposed to be 6,000. Like, really high. Uh, and what am I going to do with 1,500 tokens for that much? And 10,000 credits is absolutely, it's wonderful. I love it. But on my free-to-play account, I have a ton of credits, and I don't have a lot of cards to uh, actually boost up that I that I want to. I don't really use multiple man. Um, and he has, what, 165 boosters? So I'm fine on on credits. I'm okay having a low collection level. Uh, but when it comes to the tokens that I wanted, I got screwed out of that for Sugar and Spice. And now I feel, because I was looking forward to the Gazar one, that I'm screwed out of this too. And the, the point I wanted to, to really lead up to with everything here is two points. One, I think Infinity Tickets, Conquest Tickets are a negative value and the Second Dinner has a certain value metric associated with it and they're putting that in instead of things that everybody can use because not everybody can use the tickets and now take it i know that everybody can technically use the conquest tickets but not everybody wants to do conquest so to me this isn't something that everybody can use do you know what everybody can use every single player they all can use credits they all can use tokens they all could use gold which you're not going to get in a gold bundle but for a gold bundle everybody can use tokens everybody can use credits this is taking away from something and i don't know what it is but it's taken away from something. The second point I want to make is if you're not really spending a lot of money, and let's just say you're one of the people who just buy the season pass, and that is it. You only get the season pass. Your gold is still very valuable to you. And having these things that are data mined that turn out to be wrong, you're saving your gold for certain things and you are planning it out. And it turns out that second dinner... They can change what the data mine is uh, at any time because it's since it's data mine and it's not an official release, they're not um, they're not really married to it. They're they don't have to go through with whatever was data mined. And data mining is is wrong sometimes. Uh, one of the last bundles that actually turned out to be really good uh, started off as ten dollars, then it changed to twenty dollars, and all the stats were the same, but it got, it did get a lot better. There's also ones like Sugar Spice that got a lot worse. So second dinner, please, please come out with just like a monthly schedule of your bundles as well, please, because there are so many players that I, I really do feel are getting shafted, getting screwed out of having this big reserve for gold, looking at the data mines, and once what they want is coming out, they're not going to get it because it's not kind of what was promised. Even though you're not promising it, people still do feel hurt. They feel betrayed. They feel like they maybe missed out on a gold bundle they wanted to do, but they didn't because they wanted to save for this other bundle that turned out to be a worse value per gold. That's all I really got. I don't want to continue ranting on this. I'm really upset about what this is. And, you know, again, this is all what was the value to you. Um... 7,000 is like $100 for 3,000 collector's tokens and 6,000 credits. It's not worth it to me. It might be worth it to you. It is a really nice variant for Kazar. Um, but you know, what's what's the value to you? I don't know what you guys think. Of course, please leave a comment, leave a like, uh, subscribe, share. I love the engagement. Engagement makes me so happy. If there's like 15 likes on this video, I will... I will buy a new chair because the handle is missing on one side. The handle comes off on, on this one, um, but I could sit in it. And that's sometimes, <laughs> that's sometimes good enough for me. All right, guys, you have a great day and uh, I'll talk to you later.